Hey there, what's up? It's Mr. Zuni again. Kids, I'm so happy to see you. How are you? Today we'll catch up on language, you know. And today it will be like easy to take. It'll be like easy going. Because we're just um, taking some notes and then I'll explain homework to you. So today these notes will be about the irregular comparative and superlative adjectives. So please be ready. Get a hold of your notebook of language, a pencil, eraser, sharpener, something to decorate, like a coloring pencil or a marker. That's up to you, okay? That last part. And let's get started. Well, as usual, the heading of your page should have this date, Friday, April 17th, 2020. And again, reminder on these details that you shouldn't let go. And um, try to stick to this, okay? These little details I hide, I highlight for you. Okay, so what's the title for these notes? Well, as, as I already told you, we'll be having this little topic, irregular, comparative, and superlative adjectives. Remember, well, I want to remind you, I want you to recall the adjectives, the comparative and the superlative. Remember when we, ha when we were in class and we were comparing people and things, for example, Mr. Zuniga and, and Derek, we were unwrestling And then Mr. Zuniga won. So we wrote an example and we said Mr. Zuniga is stronger. We used ER after strong. Okay, or for example, I don't remember who was faster. I think it was Ashley. Ashley was running and she was faster. Faster. Right? And we, we were saying many things with ER and EST. Well, today is similar, but not 100%. It'll be a bit different. Today we'll be working with some adjectives, two of them. The adjective good. Good is the English for bueno. Good. Good. So it's the adjective we're using today. Make notes on this, okay, on your notebook. So, um, example given. Mm, let me make a little correction. Stop a bit. Stop a bit. All righty then. So, as I was saying, here I have an example for you. I'll write example given, but what I mean is, for example, so vegetables are good supplies of vitamins. See. Good. I should have also written vegetables are good sources of vitamins. But I want to use this word. So good is the main, the sole focus here. Good. It's the adjective I'm using in this example. But what about, what about when I want to compare? Shall I say gooder? Shall I write gooder? No. No way. What we're going to have is better. Not gooder, no, 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 better, better. Okay, remember, we don't write or say gooder, we write or say better. So here is an example, that's why I have this picture. You don't have to draw this picture because I know it's a bit complicated, but if you have means to print it or something, that'll be fine, it's up to you. It's not mandatory, it's just to make it look better. All right, so why Bigos? Because I'm comparing Bigos with Burger King. Look, a burger from Bigos, a burger from Burger King. A hamburger at Bigos, a hamburger at Burger King. If you don't believe me, look at the wrap. The wrap says over here, Burger King. I'm not taking this. All right, so the, my example will be about burgers from Bigos and, and, um, and Burger King. EG stands for, for example, okay? So you can write it like this. So Bigos hamburgers are better than Burger King's. 
Look, I use the word better than. I didn't use gooder than. No, 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 no. I used better than. Yes. I didn't. Let's continue. How about when I want to compare? Shall I say? Shall I? Shall I say the goodest? Shall I write the goodest? That's a no. It's gonna be best. Okay. Let's have an example on this, and let's talk about Denny's. Mm, God, for me, Denny's are the best burgers I could ever try. I love them. So that's why my example goes like that. For example, Denny's serves the best hamburgers I've ever tried, or I've tried. So here again, I say the best. I don't say the goodest. No, no, no. I say the best. Alrighty. Is there something else? It'll be on the adjective bad. Bad is the English for malo. Bad. Bad. Some people say bad. 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 It's up to you. Both are fine. Let's go over this. Let's have an example. Example, too many video game hours are bad for your studies. Oh, I mean, there's no way to argue against this, uh, this example. So in this example, they have bad for an adjective. Okay, what if I want to compare? Shall I say bother? Shall I write bother? Absolutely not. The comparative form will be worse. 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 Let's have some examples. Here I have a picture of Clash, of, uh, Clash Royale. You know it's a video game. And we have a picture of Fortnite. For me, Fortnite is bad. Nah, nah, not my taste. And Clash Royale is um, not that bad. But, uh, but I think it's worse. Than, class, uh, than Fortnite. So that's why my sentence goes like, Class Royal is worse than Fortnite. See? I wrote worse than. Worse than. I didn't write better than. No, no, no. It's worse than. Let's continue with the superlative. It's not gonna be baddest. No. Some people say that. It's not what we expect. We better have you saying worst. And here I have a picture of coronavirus. Be careful with that, please. Don't go to the streets. And I'll make a sentence out of coronavirus. Coronavirus is the worst flu. Uh, coronavirus is the worst flu, Phyllis. You don't want to catch that. All right. Hey, we're done with examples. So, um, you must be finished with your notes, because I'll explain the homework now. This homework, you are not going to write it. No, you are not going to write it. Okay? Homework will consist on two parts. One part is that you send photos of your notes, photos of your notebook. Okay? Of, your, of the work you did today. That's one part I need. The other part, part number two, that you make somebody, like mom, like dad, to record a video of you while saying aloud some examples with good, better than, the best, bad, worse than, and the worst. For example, this is just an example. I have this, this toy, it's a car. And I have this other toy, thanks to Santiago, who is messing with my recording. Okay, away Santiago. So, um, this Hot Wheels is good. For example, you can say that in your video. And you make your mom record you with it. And you say, this car is good. This monster truck, monster truck is better than this car. And um, let's say, Lightning McQueen or... Ferrari is the best card I've ever seen. 
See? So with those phrases, you will use good, better than, and the best. You can use toys, you can use people, use, use something real, and make sure mom and dad send me that video. Alrighty then, with that said, I think we're done. So good job. And for you, a little gift. This picture of Earth compared to planet Jupiter. Look at the hurricane in Jupiter. It takes like 30 to 70 years to last. And Earth could fit in this. My God. Okay, fellas. That's all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'll be in touch. Bye-bye.